The last video talked about what, how to make primary contact a required field uh, when it reached a certain level. Now I want to say is when we're closed lost, how to make sure that we're actually tracking on a reason why it was closed lost. Uh, and so what we're going to do, and again, this is NPSP, we've got lots of different opportunity types. Uh, and so that means that we've got lots of different uh, sales paths that we're going to be working with. But uh, let's let's go specifically out. Uh, yeah, for a grant, let me just say what we're going to do is we're going to change this uh, and we're going to see how that's going to roll out. So uh, we're going to go out to opportunities. So we're going to go from here. Uh, we're going to go to edit object and that's going to bring us to the object manager for opportunity. And again, we're going down to validation rules, uh, and this is not part of the setup home uh, process builder flow builder stuff. Uh, we're going to look here at um, this is our active one that's going to say uh, opportunities that are closed lost need to have a closed lost reason. And so as we click in on this, uh, this is what that looks like. So we have, and we can edit it and actually go into the to the details, but you, all the information is really here, so that's what we need. Uh, so what we're saying here is this is just an and condition. Um, is is one false, uh, which means really was it was it lost? Uh, is closed true? So is it a closed deal? Um, and these are related specifically to the opportunity. There's another field here. We're going to do an is blank on. Uh, an NPSP closed lost reason that actually is included within the NPSP, but you can add it as a custom field if you don't have it yet. Uh, and then we're going to exclude a, a record type of donation uh, because when we go back out here, we realize that you know donation. If it's a closed lost, you're really not going to want to track on that, and you'll have a, a, a revolt from the development team. Um, so it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be to be working there. Um, so, uh, if we look at uh, at record types, um, and specifically at the grant record type, and what happens then is we can see that the sales process is grant. Uh, and so, what we're looking at is kind of what are those close lost um, uh, uh, sales process steps that we would want to uh, be tracking on, and that's actually why we're doing the uh, the the, you know, the way we did it. So if we if we look here, we jump on to the the sales process, and the way the way you can also get there is you can get there by going into sales process from this is the home setup side and going in on grant. Uh, but it'll also get there if what you do is to click on sales process here, it'll also take you to grant. But what you're seeing is these are all of the available. Um, uh, the stages, uh, and so what we're seeing is is that there are uh, here's a, a a closed lost is just standard closed lost. Um, you've also got a, a closed loss around declined, uh, and also one around withdrawn, um, and there could be kind of other stages. But the idea, as long as what you've done is define it this way, uh, it, it it makes good sense. Now. If you need more background, uh, I know I've recorded a good video on this, but there's also one, you know, there's some interesting stuff you can do looking at how to create a sales process and, and what does that mean. Now, what's interesting though, especially this is for NPSP, if you go out here, remember this field that we talked about, let me see if I can just jump to it, um, here, this was the NPSP closed lost reason. If we look here, and we say, great, now what I want to do is to change this because it is an active rule. And what I want to do is to say, this is withdrawn. That was the closed lost version. And I click save. Uh, what it says is, oops, you have to have a reason. But you try and go to reason and there's no field here. Uh, so instead what you do is you can go out here to kind of edit the page or the object and navigate your way to page layouts and what you find is that there's something here called a closed lost reason, right? And so we drag that down here and save it. Uh, and then we can go back out here and we can do a refresh and say reload that. Uh, and then what we're going to do with a bit of a drum roll 
is we're going to be able to then change it here. Uh, and we can say now we do want to have it withdrawn, save it, and it's going to say, oh, you need to go to closed lost. But now we actually have that closed lost field that we can work with, and we can say um, not accepted. Uh, and, and there's lots of ways that you can create this as a pick list or do other things. But that at least does kind of ensure that you've got some kind of a closed lost reason. Um, hope that's helpful. And now we can actually move on to the next step, which is looking at how do you create a new opportunity when you've got a not now. Thanks for watching.